G'day guys, welcome back to another video on my channel, Nintendo Down Under. As promised, any GoldenEye, Banjo-Kazooie, Diddy Kong Racing, I'm always scouting the internet daily, looking for more information on these most wanted rare titles potentially coming to the Switch, this GoldenEye remake coming to the Switch, any information I can find, I'm always looking for it. And I've found something new when it comes to GoldenEye. It's not the news that we were looking for, but I'm going to show it and reveal it anyway of a tweet I found on Twitter uh, only yesterday, and it got me thinking, oh, well, that makes sense, but still very, very disappointing. We're going to go through all of this right now. So this tweet comes from Undercover Yoshi on Twitter, and apparently this is their third account as their two previous accounts had been deleted, but they are claiming they are an inside leaker at Nintendo. Now, the tweet does say, the Golden Knight 007 remaster will be delayed indefinitely. The war in Ukraine is the main factor and Nintendo is holding up the process and will not give permission for this game to be released. Until this conflict is resolved, we won't see the Goldmine 007 remaster. Now, obviously, that's not the news we wanted to see, that it's going to be held up because of this conflict, and it has been reported in a few other areas that, yes, the war going in Ukraine right now is the main reason, because Goldmine is a very Soviet Union heavy story, so they don't want to release this game. The only good news I will take out of this, if you are a Nintendo fan and you're not flexible, you're not flexible at all, you don't want to go out and buy a Sony PlayStation, you don't want to go out and buy a Microsoft Xbox, all you want is Nintendo, well if Nintendo's holding up this release, then it must mean this is going to be a dual release, which I take some confidence out of that. If you don't want to buy a Microsoft Xbox, the good news is that looks like that this remaster, remake, whatever that we have seen that's ready to go, that was leaked on Xbox achievements, will be coming to Nintendo as well, which is good, but Nintendo saying no, we're the ones holding up. So it sounds like Microsoft, they don't mind, you know, they do lots of Call of Duty games with uh, Sony, they're happy to release this game. Nintendo, very family friendly, very inclusive, don't like controversy. We know that Advanced Wars that was meant to be coming out this year had been delayed and the same reason because of the conflict in Ukraine. So now Nintendo is saying, well, nah, we're gonna hold this up. It's not gonna be released on your system until we can have it, and we are saying no, not until this stuff is sorted out, which I don't, I understand why they're doing it because they're trying to make a stance, fair enough. And I don't wanna talk about this topic too much because it comes controversial, YouTube isn't going to like it. But they are still stopping themselves from making a lot of money because this game is going to be huge. If it does get dual released on the Xbox and Nintendo, then People are gonna go out and go nuts for this because the hype, everyone's looking for information. We've seen the leagues, people are staying up for Xbox showcases. I almost did the same thing, still nothing. Nintendo Directs came, still nothing. Oh, it's coming out next week, still nothing. So when it eventually does come out, boy, oh boy, is it going to be huge, but it looks like we're gonna have to wait. And personally, the conflict going in Europe right now with those countries doesn't look like it's going to be solved anytime soon. So when definitely means they're not going to say oh, we're delaying it till start of 2023 or we're delaying it till holiday 2023 because they're basically saying, well, this could go on for years and years and years, which is really sad in so many ways that it's affected so many parts of the world. So if it does get delayed years and years and years, is it going to lose that momentum though? Is people not going to be interested anymore? Is the gaming world going to move on from this? Um, kids now are going to be older and us old generation will be even older and we're not playing games as much because life gets in the way. I don't know. It's risky. It shows Nintendo though don't need anything to save them right now. The Nintendo Switch is booming. Other games are coming out booming. The expansion pack, more people are subscribing to that. Things are looking really good. We know when the Wii U was struggling, they did the mini consoles to get people going with Nintendo, get people buying and get the shares going. But obviously they don't need to rely on these things right now. They can just sit on it. So I don't know when we're going to see it. People look out for hope for future. Oh, the September Direct or next year's showcase. Well, no. If this tweet is accurate, 
and true, we are looking like it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Another tweet I wanted to share was this. Metroid Prime 4 will be released in the holidays of 2023. That takes the game to five years in development, which is how long a AAA game takes to make. So that's good news. A game that we have been waiting for for so long, revealed all those years ago at E3, had to be restarted because Nintendo wasn't happy with its development. Now looks like we might be seeing something. 2023 holidays, that's still a long way away. That's still over 12 months, but that gives Nintendo a good nine month period to do promoting. Obviously this year we're too short now, we're into August, time's running out, there's been no news about it. So 2023 holiday will be huge because we know next year we're gonna get Breath of the Wild earlier in the year. We've already got the big games coming out this year. So they need to look ahead, what's gonna get people excited for the 2023 holiday season. That Metroid game will be massive. A new big Mario game will complement that as well. I can't believe we are going further into this year and all we know right now, there's Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, the new game's coming out, but no massive Super Mario Odyssey 2s or big Mario Adventures are planned anytime soon. So I can see that coming out in 2023 holiday as well because they're not gonna wanna do that at the same time as Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild 2, whatever that's gonna be called, when that comes out early 2023, Nintendo will put all of their focus and energy getting everyone super excited for this game. And they're not gonna do a Mario game, big Mario game at the same time because people are gonna chop into their sales. People go to the shops, do I buy Mario, do I buy Zelda, what do I get? Whereas when everyone goes to the shops, everyone's just gonna pick up Zelda. We wanna play this game. Later on in the year, everyone's gonna pick up Mario. We wanna play this game. And if you're not a massive Mario fan, then obviously Metroid, a lot of people out there are keen for that as well. So we'll keep an eye out for that in 2023. And if you follow a lot of videos on my channel and you watched my big room tour, I did say that, um, that I wanted to do another change to this room. My creative juices were going. I wanted to do some changes to my Nintendo collection. Well, that's been delayed because the bookcases I wanted to buy from Ikea, those Finley ones, whatever they're called, the same ones ones you see there, I needed to get two or three more of those to do what I wanted to do. They're sold out. I can't believe I've never gone to Ikea before in such a basic bookcase that everyone wants to buy is not there available. They reckon maybe not till September, but it just shows that COVID has affected so many parts of the world. Things that you could just easily get and prices, oh, it's just crazy. So I do apologize. I did say I was gonna do a new sort of part three room tour of my changes coming soon, but that's not gonna be till probably September now until I get the bookcases I need, but we'll keep an eye out for that. And obviously a bit of a disclaimer as well. This uh, Twitter account, this Undercover Yoshi, a very small account, but like I stated at the start of this video, I always search for any hashtags or links to Banjo-Kazooie, any news, any Diddy Kong racing, any gold knife, things that I'm really interested in. I consistently looking daily, looking for more information about these topics. And when I see it from a either big place or a small place trying to make its way, I will report that to you guys. But in the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on the potential indefinite delay of GoldenEye 007, which is very disappointing, but I can understand why, but still, so many people, including myself, are really looking forward to playing this game, this remaster on the Switch, on Microsoft, Xbox, whatever. I was really looking forward to that, but now the delay, we'll have to wait and see. Metroid Prime fans, 2023 next year makes a lot of sense. We've got Breath of the Wild coming out next year, but oh, surely a new big Mario game will come out next year. Well, a bit of a delay on the room tour, but in the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on anything we spoke about today. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.